Good evening and thanks for joining us here at KRDO News Channel 13 at 10 o'clock. I'm Lauren Barnes. Happy 4th of July. It has been a bit of a strange one. KRDO News Channel 13's Julia Donovan talked to some people celebrating from a distance and watching the public fireworks display tonight. She is live at Kissing Camels Golf Course. Julia, good evening. That's right, the firework display just ending here a few minutes back, and we'll get to that video for you guys in just a little bit. But right now, I'm talking about the way people celebrated today, and you know, we're celebrating the birth of our country in a very uncertain and different time, and with that comes a whole roller coaster of emotions. Well. For new mom, Kelsey Pewitt, and her nine month old daughter, after missing so many firsts this year because of COVID 19, their first 4th of July together isn't exactly what she'd hoped. This is the best I guess it could get. I mean, we're out here and hopefully she'll enjoy it. Despite the hardships we've all faced over the last few months, been through a lot, but we're together. Kelsey and others are using the holiday as a way to put a fresh foot forward. 21 years. 21 years. It's not only Independence Day, it's Scott and Monica's anniversary. This year, spend social distancing with family. And every year we go and we celebrate fireworks from day one. So we got married on the 4th, which is kind of contrarian, but that's just us. We're super grateful. The rain came and here we are. Even a day full of dark clouds couldn't keep them down. Fireworks are just magical. They are magical. Organizers tell me the 10 displays shooting across the Colorado Spring sky tonight were their greatest attempt at lifting those spirits. We didn't want to cancel our event, so we got creative. Something every Coloradan and arguably every American needs right now. We've heard the phrase about coming together while still staying apart, and this gives us the chance to do that. And again, that firework display ending just a few minutes back, and we'll get to some video for you guys of that beautiful display in just a little bit. For now, happy 4th of July. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, I'm Julia Donovan, KRDO News Channel 13. Julia, beautiful story tonight. A reminder now.